Hello Seta here. In this video I will show you how I create this scene, what rules I followed and what you should pay attention when create similar environment. When I start building this scene I placed the camp as the first because this is the most important point that the player should have. And then I start building an uh, environment in that way that the campsite uh, is visible from almost every other point in the area. I use two light source. One is the sun and the other is of course the campfire. I place the tree on the map in that way that their shadow wouldn't obscure the campsite and to make it more visible. Additionally, as the player approached the campsite, nothing obscured the pleasant view of the slowly setting sun. The second light source is campfire, uh, which stands out from the surroundings due to its red-orange color. Uh, even when observed from a distance, uh, the campsite should be visible. When it comes to a level design, it is important to remember that the light is the one of the elements that lead the players. Uh, the player usually moves toward the brightness or most distinctive area in the terms of color compared to the surroundings. Another element that leading the players is so they call a uh, guiding lines. And in this case, it is the road, but it can also be an uh, element such a large branch pointing in that direction uh, or the layout of the tree. As for the campsite itself, I want to create an impression that it was a good place to build a shelter so create a natural barrier in the form of the rocks to provide at last one side of the shelter from the wind. I placed some rocks and a large number of sticks nearby to suggest that you don't have to go very far to make a camp. I also placed some branches inside the shelter that didn't have to snow on them to simulate some kind of bed. I'll also try to replicate the human presence on the ground uh, by creating different looking snow patterns. Unfortunately, I didn't have the texture of trampled snow, so I used the one I had. However, it is worth paying attention to such details. Depending on the type of the game that we create, we can place an NPC here to further the storyline or remove some elements of the shelter and ask the player to rebuild it and make a fire to survive the night. From this point, the player can go left or right. If they go to the right, they will reach another fork in the road that will lead them to the next stage of the level. Or we can always direct them with some small elements to divert them from the mine path. And now let's move to the light and post processing. In the directional light, I move the temperature to get a little colder environment. Uh, I move the volumetric to get a more visible ray of the sun and I decrease the dimmer to reduce shadow. If you don't have these options you must click these three dots and select show additional properties. In global volume, I use a psychical based sky and set ground tint to grey, dark grey. 
and in the fog I rise a little base high and decrease the fog distance and then I want to the uh, fog have a little blue tint so I create a gradient between a light blue and white. Next in the shadows midtone highlights I rise a little shadows and give them a more blue tint. We have our white balance so I Add vignette to darken the edges a bit and in color adjustments I increase post exposure just a little and decrease saturation. As you can see there wasn't much changes in the post processing here. Uh, the rest like shadows was set to default except the volumetric clouds but about this I will prepare a separate tutorial only about clouds. Okay that's all for this video let me know in the comments below if you want more video like this and until next time see ya!